on everybody? Cannon here. Hi. We got a call from Bush Wildlife that there's a rattlesnake in a woman's yard. So we're going to go uh, grab it and move it to a safer location for the snake and for the humans. And uh, we'll avoid any kind of snake-human conflict. This is Camp Cannon. All right. Sorry about that. Yeah, I, I do a YouTube channel where we educate people. So you don't mind being on camera, do you? you Oh, well, you don't want to be on camera, but he is. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to deputize you. Okay. And so you're just, all you got to do is point that. Okay. And uh, I'll show everyone what's going on here. So this is an Eastern Diamondback. And this is, it's a beautiful snake. I'm sure you're thrilled to have this snake here. <laughs> but um, it is a beautiful animal. And what it's trying to do right now, and you can see it's, a, it's actually got a really good disposition because it doesn't want to rattle or anything. So what we're going to do is, Get them out here into the open, keep them out here. And so what happens is people come in conflict with, conflict with these animals because they live close to where these animals live. So it's getting hot and this animal just wants to be in the shade. So what I'm gonna do is stop playing with them. <laughs> oh, oh, he's fast, he's fast, he's a fast one. I'll tell you what, still no defensive striking, that's good news. That's good news. But we gotta stop playing around. I gotta get my uh, bucket out. There he goes, there he goes. Now, he's in a bed. There you go, everybody. Little Eastern Diamond back here. You can come on over here. I'll, I'll take that camera and I'll just go ahead and keep filming and explain to everybody. Thank you. All right, guys. So, as you saw, that snake really didn't want anything to do with me and it didn't try and bite, it didn't even rattle. So, this animal, you know, they get a bad rap because, of course, they have venom. And as we know, that's a modified saliva, and that just helps them catch their food. So this animal is now going to get moved on out into the preserve a little bit further away. And uh, we've avoided any kind of unpleasant human-snake interaction. But look at how good this snake is being. This is a really nice snake. And it's got a tiny little rattle, so it's probably just shed. And uh, it's got a little bit of a rattle there. They'll add a rattle every time they shed their skin as they grow. And this snake could potentially get as big as eight foot. Uh, but big giants like that are becoming more and more rare. But I love diamondback rattlesnakes. The eastern diamondback is the largest rattlesnake in North America. And if you do get bit by this, that's not a good bite. Not because of the potency of the venom, but it's because of the amount of venom that they can inject. Since they're a large snake, they have large venom glands. It's a hemotoxic venom, very, very destructive to uh, tissue, uh, you know, to muscle tissue, skin tissue. Uh, basically, it starts digesting you, and um, that's what makes it easy for the snake to catch its prey. But okay, so we're gonna go shut this up, and uh, we'll open it back up when I do the release, okay? So the best way to do that, so we don't get in any trouble, and I need a, a lighter lid, it turns out. <laughs> I'm getting old. Getting old. There you go. All good. All right, I'm going to finish up with the homeowner, but uh, next time you see me, we'll be releasing this guy into a safe spot. Thanks. Okay, I am uh, out here off a of service road, off a little uh, forestry road, and we're basically out in a natural area uh, that is far enough away from people um, and the development this animal was in. However, it's still fairly close that uh, there's still water sources and things like that. So I haven't taken this animal miles away. We just want to get it out away from that development. So let's go ahead and open the, uh, open the box. And we'll get this little one all situated, okay? Oh, let's see. Oh, there you are. Hey, girl. I don't know if it's a girl. <laughs> oh, I'm not so sure if it's a girl or a boy, but... Uh, it's got a nice disposition, so I'm thinking it's a gal. 
Uh, it's not so feisty, but we'll see how that goes once I release the animal. So it's midday. It is extremely warm here right now. And uh, we want to make sure there's enough shade, which there is. If you look around, perfect rattlesnake habitat out here. We're talking drier pine area. Uh, these animals like it a little bit drier. And um, so there you have it. So again, look at this. He's coming right towards me. How cool is that? Come here, little one. There you go. So it's a beautiful snake, um, and these animals deserve to be saved. They deserve to uh, be, maybe if I just leave her alone, she'll just crawl right out. Uh, but they deserve to live. Uh, this is a valuable part of our ecosystem. It's a part of the Florida heritage. I believe that the animals that share an area with us humans or to share the habitat with us are an invaluable natural resource that should be protected because they are nature's perfect cleanup crews and they really help us out. So uh, there you go. You guys know all this though. If you're watching this channel, you love reptiles, as do I. So let's go ahead and lift this beauty on out. Let's get this little one out here. Gosh, it's, it's really uh, fun just to be manhandling a snake with the one thing. How about I put the camera down. Oh, you want to do it yourself? Please do, by all means. It makes my life easy. Go ahead. You can do it yourself if you want the miss. Uh, but a real beautiful pattern on this snake. Just really, really beautiful. And the disposition, again, I just can't say enough about how chill this snake is being. So, here, we'll just let her go on out. I mean, I could even tip the, the box if I wanted to make it easier, but there you go. I don't like to um, do videos where we, we are unnecessarily handling the snake too much. Um, there's just no need for that. This animal's gonna get on out right now without any issues. So that's uh, the best way to do it. Let the snake crawl out on its own. We get to enjoy its movements. Um, and there you go. All right, everyone, like and subscribe if you wanna continue to see really cool, fun reptile, reptile content. Don't forget to do that. Uh, go to patreon.com slash camkennon if you want to help support these videos. And do me a favor, go to bushwildlife.com where you can continue to help them save native Florida fish and wildlife, okay? So that's bush, oh, excuse me, it's bushwildlife.org. No, I'm not supposed to say that, dot org. Yeah, dot org, that's it. Go ahead and get it done. Go to bush, we'll have a link. Ooh, there you go. <laughs> she didn't like that now, did she? She didn't like that. Now they're back in their natural habitat and uh, I guess I got a little too close and I moved quick, so we're all right. Uh, very cool, but go to bushwildlife.org and you can help us save these animals. Isn't it amazing? Once she went back into her natural habitat, she began to act like a rattlesnake. She didn't like that at all. See you, girl. All right, everyone, we'll see you again soon. You got something uh, interesting here. Bam! This is an incredibly large Eastern Herman tortoise. She might be the largest in the United States.